Man. So you're talking about some pretty serious hyperdimensional stuff here. We didn't know we were being protected. Our knowing would have completely changed the EMA equation. They also had to speed up our evolution so we could get to where we could handle a wall of flame. They set a holographic field around the Earth. Then they set up a holographic field around each person and animal. They then began to program events into these holographic fields. In the first few months, they did, didn't change anything. They just got control. Then they programmed their sky into a hologram and kept everything going as though nothing unusual were happening. Then they began to program events into our lives so that we would evolve as rapidly as possible. At the same time, they were protecting us from the wall of flame. Anyway. Jesus, you gotta get into that Christ consciousness state of mind. talking about all the same stuff I was typing about in my iPod last night. You were typing about it in your iPod? Yeah, Marilyn's, we're all talking about the same thing. Marilyn's on the Christ consciousness brainwave. She calls it higher consciousness that she gets from the body of Christ, but you're talking about the same thing, I think. Christ conscious on my iPod last night. I, I think we're on to something. Something good's going to happen here. From the fourth dimension, it sounds like. The, from the fourth dimension. Turn them 
dimensional galactic television. That's why the two high overtones are like a parking lot. Everyone is tuned into us to monitor this event because they know that whatever happens to us here will affect them, too. I don't know why everyone will be touched by this. Regarding the top five, an analogy for the speed at which we are evolving is one of a newborn baby becoming an adult in 15 minutes. This is totally unique. There are no memory patterns for it anywhere, even on the Melchizedek level. It appears to be the most successful experiment that anyone anywhere has ever conducted. Gurn Vallow now suspects that this may have been in the mind of God from the very beginning. Now, however, the Ascendant Masters don't know what the outcome will be. Thoth wanted Gurn Vallow to be very clear about this. Huh? It won't appears to be a very successful experiment, but okay. the Ascendant Masters keep figuring out game plans that become obsolete game before plan. they can even implement them. <laughs> game plan. Thoth and other Ascendant Masters thought the planet would reach critical mass around <laughs> the world. Departed gods. August, Departed 19, gods. Well, the first week of September 1990, and then by spring of 1991, we would go into another dimensional level. The Ascended Masters said they would then bond together. Wait, hey, the, the Ascended Masters are the dark the underlords of the Illuminati. Not just this. That would pull us up and serve us the triggers for everyone to ascend. But we really missed out. We're just That's the here vampire <laughs> bats pulling you into another... <laughs> That's the vampire bats pulling you into another dimension. Is it? And still what happened in August 1990 was that Iraq invaded Kuwait. Oh, okay. The major forces of the Earth died, did band together, and in preparation for a war against Iraq, because the Ascended Masters held off, we created planetary unity by a sort of... This is like Illuminati stuff. Against warning 